Hello and welcome. This is Alex Camelio with the Real Estate Technology Institute. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about ways you can automate your life using a service called IFTTT. Now that stands for if this, then that. Meaning if this one thing happens, then go do these other things. And it's essentially a way that you can automate pieces of your life by connecting your smart home, your online accounts, your work accounts, and basically all the different pieces of your life that you might want to automate and letting this service do that for you. So we're going to start by basically signing up for an account. And we'll plug in just the dummy email here that I have for this year. And we'll create it. And it's actually going to walk me through creating what they call recipes. So first of all, if this, then that. So first of all, we're going to say, what is this? And what this means is we can connect all sorts of things like tomorrow's forecast, or if we add a contact on our phone or all sorts of different services that might trigger something to then happen. So if tomorrow's forecast calls for rain, then what do I want to have happen? Send me an email. So I can get an email maybe the night before or first thing in the morning to, to warn me to say, hey, get ready. There might be some rain today. And this might even be helpful for some, uh, some of your buyers. You know, if you're going to be going out and showing them homes the next day, having an email that says, hey, you know what? You might want to bring an umbrella or bring a raincoat or something like that to get in touch with them so that you're notified about those sorts of things. Um, it's a great service to notify your email account. So we're going to say continue. So you connect channels to create recipes. So the trigger, which is the if the rain, the recipe is the whole thing, and the action channel is what's going to happen if it's raining. So we'll continue. And we're going to select some channels. So I'm going to say the weather, uh, Facebook, and let's say Google Drive are some things that interest me. And we'll continue. And it's actually going to automatically find some recipes. So it's now recommending that I can do things like get an email when the president signs a bill into law or save my Fitbit sleep blogs to Google spreadsheets. Or as we talked about before, get an email if there will be rain in your area tomorrow. Now these connect to all sorts of things, all sorts of different devices. Um, and essentially what you can do is you can go here to my recipes, which you already have. You can browse existing recipes. Or you can set up what are called your channels, which are all the different things that might either trigger or respond to that trigger. So there's some really cool channels, um, some of which are things like Facebook, you can even hook up things like your BMW. So looks, let's look at the new and noteworthy. Amazon Alexa, your BMW, your water sensors, Evernote, right? Your Nest Cam. So there are tons of things that you can actually set up in terms of channels to connect and easily connect um, ways to create recipes. But some of the fun ones and easy ones is to actually just go to browse. And then let's set up that recommended one that we talked about before. So get an email if there will be rain in your area tomorrow. So the first channel is you're going to connect the weather. And it's going to ask you to search for a location. So I'm going to put in my area and search and we'll connect it. Now my weather is connected. So if tomorrow's condition calls for rain, send an email with tomorrow's condition, the body, add it, and your recipe is created. And now it knows my email from my account and is going to send me an email in the morning um, to, to basically say, hey, there's going to be rain today get ready for it. 
okay? So that's how you create a basic, basic recipe. Now, beyond creating a recipe, you can go and, as we said, add all sorts of different channels. This even goes down to adding your device. So if you download ifttt.com to your local device, to either your iPhone or your Android or so on, you can even trigger things when you say add a contact to your phone or um, all sorts of different things. If you hook it up to your Nest thermostat, if the temperature goes to a certain, uh, certain height, you can change certain things. You can trigger lights to turn on at different times related to uh, when the sun sets or turn off at certain times related to when the sun sets. Now, all 284 channels, Pretty crazy to think about how many things that we can hook up here to test. But think about this not just for business, but just for your life in general. So while you can hook up things like, say, Salesforce or LinkedIn um, or Office 365 email or, or very businessy related things, uh, you can also use this to automate things at your home. So you can connect the Home Depot, you can connect your Nest thermostat, as I mentioned. Um, you can even connect things like Craigslist directly, uh, directly up and then use certain triggers of what might happen on Craigslist to trigger different things or send you an email or things like that. So now that we've talked about how you actually create a recipe to automate some of, some of your life, we're going to move on from there and talk about a few recipes that you might want to create um, being in the real estate industry. Now, my team at Lone Wolf actually put out a fantastic article uh, talking about some different recipes that you might want to create if you're in the real estate industry. So I'm just going to go to IFTTT for real estate. And you'll actually see here the second one down. There's a bunch of different ones here. But the second one down is a great article. And these are going to cover um, a bunch of different things that we can talk about for iOS, for Android. So we'll scroll down here. And the cool part is if you go to this article, you can click and link it directly to it and add those to IFTTT right from this link. So first of all, we're going to talk about the iOS recipes. These are for your iPhone and iPad devices. So the first one here is whenever you add a new contact, mark it in your calendar. So you can go back historically and see when you've met specific people. I think that's a pretty cool thing to be able to do. And even set yearly reminders so you can say, oh, I want to get in touch with this person on a six month or one year, you know, anniversary of, of actually meeting them. Oh, I met you one year ago today. How cool is that? Next thing is save any new contacts to a Google spreadsheet. So if you add this contact to your phone and link it to a Google spreadsheet, it's going to automatically um, add it to that spreadsheet. And then you can easily upload it to, say, your CRM or other services that are out there. And then the other one here, uh, which you can go to, is ask your new contact to connect with you on LinkedIn. So if you add that contact directly to your phone, uh, it's going to and you add their email. It's going to make it so that you can then quickly send that over. It's going to ask them to join you on LinkedIn and you can be a little bit more social and do it in an automated fashion. Now, beyond that, we're going to get into some Android IFTTT recipes. So the first one is keeping a call log and keeping that call log somewhere outside of your phone. So if you ever lose your phone or things like that, you have all of those backed up. So the first is keeping a call log, and that's going to mean any time that you get or uh, place a call, it's going to go directly over to a Google Drive spreadsheet. Um, next one is save any new text you receive in a, in a Google spreadsheet. So if you're working with your clients a lot back and forth um, and using text a lot and you need to keep records of that, you can save any of those new texts you receive into a Google spreadsheet automatically. Um, and then never miss another missed call. So what this is going to do is if you miss a call, um, it's going to make sure that you um, add it directly to your calendar to keep track of when to follow up with a client. Now, there are some great things to generate real estate leads with IFTTT. Um, so first of all, Craigslist in the U.S. Uh, 
it's a great way people are out there looking for different real estate and you can trigger um, IFTTT for things like wanted real estate or wanted property specific terms that might be inside of Craigslist to send you an email anytime those things pop up. Uh, the next one is Kijiji is this great service in Canada um, and again anytime that something is going to happen on that it's going to trigger and send you an email related to it. So you can set up a, a basically a unique sales email address through Gmail and um, and this last one set up a unique e email address for your sales so you know sales at whatever dot com uh, and anytime a lead gets sent to there they automatically get added to a spreadsheet. So again these are some great great quick things that you can go add to IFTTT. Um, in fact if I say want to add this Craigslist. I'm already logged in. I just click right on this article. It's going to ask me what I want to search for. We're going to add it and then I can start getting those services. So very easy to set up. A great article to start with and there's some great articles online about it. As always if you have questions feel free to get in touch with us. Um, we have weekly office hours where you can sit in and ask our team direct questions. We love to hear from people. So I hope you've gotten a lot out of this today. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day and thank you so much for joining the Real Estate Technology Institute.